Hey, in this video, I'll show you how to use page scrolling to swipe between different screens of a design. Let's get started. So first thing we'll do is change the artboard color to purple. And we'll hit R to add a layer. And this layer will be the first screen of our design. It could be an image or anything you like. We'll hold Alt and drag to duplicate and do it one more time. So these are our three screens. And I'll just change the center one to white so that you can tell that they're different layers. So now in order to make these scrollable, I'll just hit Command A, I'll hit Command G to group, and I'll turn on horizontal paging. So paging is just like scrolling, except that when you let go, it snaps to the nearest screen. So we can't scroll to the next screen because the group is the same size as the contents. So we'll just resize the group to fit within the artboard. And now we can scroll to the three different layers. So this works great if, if you have three screens that fill the entire size of the artboard, but sometimes you might want to do something like a card UI where the layers don't fill the group. So we can make that by selecting all of them and you could resize them, or in this case, just because it's faster, I'll scale them down. I'll give them a little radius and I'll make them all white. So now we have our three cards, but you'll notice that when we get to the end uh, of the scrolling, there's no margin on that last card. That's because the group doesn't let you scroll past the furthest contents inside it. So we can kind of trick the group by adding a, another layer that will be the full width of the scroll group. So we're gonna do three times the artboard width. Hit enter. So you'll see that this layer goes a little bit past that last card. And when we swipe now, you'll see we have the margin. So we don't wanna be able to see this, so we'll just turn the opacity all the way down, make it invisible. And it's worth noting that zero opacity prevents touches. So if you had something under that spacer layer, uh, it wouldn't interfere because of the zero opacity. So we can just rename this spacer so we can find it later. So that's how you do the card swiping. And if you wanted to add uh, little indicator dots at the bottom, we can do that too. So first up, what we'll do is add another layer and this will be our dot. And I'll lock the aspect ratio, crank up the radius to make it a circle and just scale it or change the height until it seems like a nice size for the dot and just nudge it around. And all right, so that looks good. Command D, duplicate it, duplicate again. I'm just using the arrow keys to shift it. Shift click to select them all, group them just so we can find them later. I'll uh, rename them with Command R to dots and let's make them all white. All right, here we go. We got the layers. Now we're gonna start using the drivers to make them fade in and out while you scroll horizontally. So first step, we have them selected. We're gonna add opacity keyframes to them. And in this first screen, we want the first one fully opaque, but we want the other two to be a little transparent. So we updated those keyframes. Now let's keyframe the next screen. So we just scroll to the next screen. We select this one, it should be fully opaque, so we'll turn that up. And this one should be 23% again. So now the, the center dot is fully visible. A lot of keyframe here, and we'll do it one more time for the last screen. Go over there, add the keyframes, and now we'll update the values. So this one is 23% again, and the third one is fully visible. So now when you drag the driver, let's deselect, when you drag it, you can see that the dots fade in and out based on where you're scrolled. And we can try this out in the preview. So you see that works great. Just a couple tips about the preview window. You can reposition it and attach it to any corner that you like. If you drag it off the canvas, it becomes its own window. And you can resize this, make it full screen if you want. And when it's detached, you can use Command tilde, and that's the key right above tab, to switch between the editor and the viewer. So that can be helpful if you have a really large design like a, a website or a desktop app. And finally, if you wanna share a video, 
Rather than moving your cursor all the way to the top right to hit the record button, you can use the keyboard shortcut Control V. And you see that starts the recording. So you can interact and then hit Control V to stop it. One other tip, if you ever want to use an arrow cursor in your video, you can just hit Command and it changes to the arrow cursor. And that way, when you record your video, it'll show an arrow cursor instead of the touch cursor. So you can share it to Drupal or wherever else you like. And that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.